Today, we're diving into the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, Samsung's rumored flagship phone for 2025. If the leaks and predictions are anything to go by, this phone could redefine what we expect from a smartphone. Think bigger screens, more power, enhanced cameras, and so much more. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And for exclusive updates, perks, and behind the scenes content, join our membership program. The link is in the description below. Let's start with the display. According to Credible Leaks, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will feature a massive 6.9 inch AMO LED screen. That's an upgrade from the already large 6.8 inch display on the S24 Ultra. We're talking about a resolution of at least 1440 x 3120 pixels, though there's a chance it might go even higher this time to match the increased screen size. And of course, it's expected to retain the 120 Hertz refresh rate for buttery smooth scrolling and gaming. This display will be one of the largest on any non-foldable phone, rivaling even the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So if you love big screens for streaming, gaming, or multitasking, this could be a dream come true. Now onto performance, this is where things get seriously exciting. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is rumored to pack Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, the most powerful processor in the smartphone world. This chip isn't just fast, it's next level. We're talking about laptop great performance in your pocket. Early benchmarks suggest it might even outclass Apple's 18 Pro chip. Add to that a hopping 16 gigabytes of RAM, and you're looking at a phone that's a beast for gaming, AI applications, and multitasking. With this combination, the S25 Ultra isn't just a phone, it's a powerhouse that could redefine mobile computing. Let's talk cameras because, let's face it, cameras are a big deal these days. According to leaks, the ultra-wide camera is getting a significant upgrade to 50 megapixels, up from the 12 megapixel on the S24 Ultra. But beyond that, the hardware for the other cameras seems to be sticking with what worked in the past. A 200 megapixel primary sensor for jaw-dropping detail. A 50 megapixel periscope camera with 5x optical zoom for those long distance shots. A 10 megapixel telephoto lens with 3x zoom for portraits. And a 12 megapixel front-facing camera for selfies. While the upgrades may not be across the board, the combination of high megapixels, proven tech, and software enhancements should make this a photography powerhouse. Now, what about battery life? According to reports, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will stick with a 5000 mAh battery and 45 watt fast charging, the same as the S24 Ultra. While this might feel a little disappointing for those expecting bigger numbers, it's still plenty of juice to get you through a busy day. When it comes to storage, we haven't heard much, but we can expect options similar to the S24 Ultra, 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, and one TV configurations. Perfect for users who need tons of space for photos, videos, and apps. So in summary, the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra looks like it's going to bring some serious upgrades to the table. A larger, stunning 6.9 inch AMO LED screen, the insanely powerful Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset paired with 16 gigabytes of RAM, an upgraded 50 megapixel ultra wide camera for sharper, more detailed shots. While the battery and some camera hardware might not see much change, this phone still promises to be a major contender for 2025's best smartphone. What do you think about the Galaxy S25 Ultra so far? Are these rumored specs enough to make it your next phone? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, for exclusive behind the scenes content and early updates, make sure to join our membership program. The link is waiting for you in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more exciting tech updates. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. 
It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series, returns offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12-megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200-megapixel main camera alongside a 12-megapixel ultra-wide a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side. 
battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.